Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to another video where I wanted to show you a direct comparison between these two Supras, how I made the tunes, and at the end of the video I will give my final verdict. Have fun! As you can see, drifting with the Supras are very easy and I really like the cars. Um, when they came into the game, I started tuning them and I was really surprised on how good they can drift, um, very steady. So I do re recommend them if you want to have fun or do drift zones to use that car. Um, I'll also show you what I do to tune a car. So basically, you have online adventure drifting where you need, for example, S1 900, A800, rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. But if you just want to have fun, do drift zones and drift with your friends, it doesn't really matter. Just take a good engine, take all the parts on it, and then you have um, already a car with a lot of power. Then you have some, basically, I have basic settings that I always use on every car, and then I start fine-tuning it. So I... I won't show it right now, I'll make maybe a new video of it. Um, but I just start with my basic tuning. Then I will go to a, a drift zone. A drift zone, for example, this one that I always use. Um, I want 200,000 points on, a on this drift zone. And then I'm happy with the drift, uh, with the drift tune. So I'll show you, um, I'm not saying I will get the 200,000 now, because as you know in my videos, I always fail when I do like a stunt, so let's try. It's not, I don't have stress or anything for making this video, but you never know, it's always something when I do my stunts. As you can see, this one doesn't go really well, but it's okay, um, it's just an example. Uh, the, for example, the gearing is very important. As you can see, if you go to 4th gear, the car will slide better. Um, if you go to 5th gear, the car will even slide more. As you can see, I got 185,000. My drift wasn't really good. But that's okay. I'll go to the beginning again. And I will take the newer Supra. The newer Supra has like 700... Uh, torque more on the car 
So let's have a look at that car. That's this one. Now this one is a little bit more tricky because the horsepower that car has is insane. Um, you can see the acceleration of this car is really insane. So you need to be a little bit careful with the throttle. It's also sliding a little bit more um, because, well, it was a little bit needed for this one. But as you can see, you can basically stay in third gear even with this car. Although, if you go to the fourth gear, and I will explain that later, the car will slide more. Now, what's the difference? What do I do? I think uh, this car, well, it's sliding too much, so I start doing on my uh, pressure on the tires. If you put your pressure on the back tire on zero, you have more grip. Do you put it way higher? You start sliding. Uh, I'm not going into the fine tuning today in this video. I'll, I'll do it once. Um, but this is how I tune. So I really want 200,000 uh, for these cars for my tunes before I actually upload them. I also go to other um, drift zones to check them out. But I won't do that now. I want to keep the video short and just have the basic information now. Now, what I was saying about the gearing, the gearing is very important. Um, as you can see, if I start in third gear, the car has a lot of acceleration. But if you go to fourth gear, the car is sliding more. You can even go to fifth gear and you see the car is sliding a lot. It's way harder to handle and you see that I have problems keeping on on the roads. Now I'll go I'll go back to this one. In third gear this car is very good. It depends on the car also. But you can basically go like in fifth gear in this and you see how much it slides. It's sliding way more. For example if I do that corner I'll do that corner in third gear I'll start from here so I will do that corner now in third gear and you will see the car has uh, more difficulties to do it although this car has enough power to do it actually you see I have a little bit problems with it so just slide it just go to gear up and the car will slide more now what are my thoughts of the boat cars i really love the cars i've been enjoying drifting a lot with these cars this one is a nice one to do like very fast drifting for example you have here um let me see where is it it's not this one but there's uh it's this one for example this is a very nice drift zone to use this newer Supra because of the power now there are other cars that are way better to get the points but it doesn't really matter if you like a Supra fan you definitely need to go for this car because it goes really fast so let's go into a drift and as you can see this car can handle this drift zone very well there you go now let's take the other one the old one well we don't need a Volkswagen in a Supra video there you go now let's say you don't have enough power what can you do this car can actually do it too I did I done it with this car um, but you need to change some settings, you need to change your gearing and all. What also is important in this one, you need to have your... I'll show it first, that you can see why you need to change it. The sixth gear isn't uh, being used, because I didn't use it for, long gear, uh, for the long drifts. There you go. Now, as you can see, I have way more problems with this car to actually do the drift zone. Why is that? First of all, I have way less more power on the old Supra. 
So let's have a look what you can do. You can change all gearing and all that stuff, but I'll show you some very simple thing what you can do. Here, as you can see, the rear wheel, if you put it on a maximum pressure, you will be sliding way more, but you need to be careful with what car that you actually do that. So as you can see already, I'm sliding way harder. I'll just stay in fifth gear. And as you can see, I'm sliding more with this car. I still don't have the right power because uh, the gearing is not made for this drift zone. But you can see how easy it slides now. I need to read I need to tune the sixth gear. For example, if you want to do this drift zone with it. But that's some some basic tuning if People are very interested in actually the tuning. I will make a video about it. I also would like to you if you want to try out my tunes and tell me how it went. For example, on the needle of if you don't have Fortune Island, you can always go to a drift zone. It doesn't really matter. And let me know what you think of the tunes of both Supras. Well, that's it for that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a drift video of mine. Uh, I don't make them much, but maybe I'll start comparing more videos, uh, more cars um, and make videos about it. I hope everybody enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye.